you know, there's technique and years and years of polishing and practice. And I mean, she keeps learning, keeps pushing. But that makes her very unique for somebody who's been doing it for her God, 40 years. The soulful part can't be taught. What I'm trying to get people to see is how interesting the form is in space. That's what gives a sculpture movement and excitement. from figurative forms, you know, mostly animals and humans. Very challenging, and, and when I look back at it, I really love that kind of challenge where you have to really figure it out. I think it's so critical to have these open wilderness places. I kind of need it to survive. But the thing that first struck me was her sense of the epic grandeur of the landscape. I feel it deeply when I'm out there. Diane really captures the power of the land, bringing together these images of the deserts that are covered with ice and the deserts that are covered with sand. And showing the connections uh, is, is very evocative to me and, and very brave. People overly define things. They, they want to put hair on the wolf, you know? Gwen doesn't put hair on the wolf. She doesn't give them eyes. There's a kind of refinement, a stylization. It's really beautiful. My favorite part of sculpture is a meditation that I get, and all I have to do is make that form. You can have a delicacy to sculpture, and that's what I've always been aspiring to, is that delicacy. Somehow I feel the weight of all that space. It's deep, and it feel opened up to it, and I try and bring back that feeling and put it in the paintings.